I'm going to talk about doing presentations. And obviously, I don't have to give this advice to any of the people who presented before me. But uh, we hope that a lot of people in this room at some point present at the Talk Shop. And uh, so I'm, uh, I'm going to give some general advice about you know, how to do a better presentation than you may have thought about. Now, this is a book called Resonate by Nancy Duarte and, and her company. And it's a wonderful book. And uh, it's all about how to do really good presentations. And there'll be another QR code reader later on if you have a little iPod thing and you know how to do it. You can do it at the end slide instead of this slide. So I asked uh, Duarte, you know, would you come talk to this, this group of mine? And she said, sure. Only I do a workshop. It takes eight hours and it costs $18,000 and only 24 people can take it. And I'm thinking, well, I mean, you wrote the freaking book, right? So we can all read the book. And uh, we don't need eight hours, and uh, we obviously don't need 18K. So I'll do it in 6.4 minutes, and I work for beer, and everyone in the room can benefit. So I think that that's the deal, okay? All right, so I'm gonna give you, you know, why you should read this book uh, in 6.4 minutes. And the first part is, you know, they're basically they're saying tell a story. You have to tell a story, and you have to make the audience the hero in the story. This is the perfect example. This is Alice Liddell. Alice Liddell lived next to this weird guy who was an Oxford Don, uh, uh, and uh, he taught math at Oxford. And he would tell her all these weird stories about Wonderland, and he would put her inside of Wonderland, okay? So um, Alice is actually Alice in Wonderland, and that's what we remember, okay? Here's another uh, um, Alice. This is my own personal problem for the last eight years is uh, climate change and how we're dealing with climate change. So I'm gonna, gonna put a little stuff about climate change in here too, because we're all worrying about that, okay? Um, one of the things you have to do either as a presenter or as a, uh, a, a person in the room is decide you know, what you're gonna take. Are you gonna take the red pill? Or are you gonna take the blue pill? Right? <laughs> and, and if you take the red pill, then you find out really uh, what's down the rabbit hole. Now, if you take the blue pill, you're still back in PowerPoint land, right? And don't you hate it when people read uh, what's on their slide? Don't you hate it when people read the text on their PowerPoint slide? Unless they're being, you know, um, obvious about it, right? Um, but, you know, it's, we all do it, right? We all do it, and we all hate it. Okay? The other thing is, okay, they've got this, they got this thing here, and they're pointing here, here, and they're pointing here, and they're talking, 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 and they're going to be making this thing here, and making this, you know, but you're never going to get any of that, right? So, you, you, you know, that's where everyone starts tuning out and checking their email and doing all the other stuff, okay? This is Alice today. Alice is out there in the room. Alice is the hero of the narrative that I should be spinning, or that you could spin in this room, right? Because Alice, she's a nerd, she's a teacher, she's a student. She's a community activist, and she's in the room, okay? So she has to be the hero. Now, you have to challenge your audience, right? You have to say, okay, okay, here's a question you haven't thought about, okay? And, and uh, I'm gonna put it to you, and I'm gonna make you think about it, right? Because it's important to me, and I think it should be important to you too, okay? So that's, that's another part of resonation. The next thing is, you have to give them something to remember. Okay, so when you're giving it something to remember, okay, everyone except the guy in the circle there, who seems to just not care, right? Everyone else is going to remember what happened here. They may need, they may need decades of therapy. Okay, the other thing is when you talk, you know, say something sort of simple. Say something people can tweet. Say something important and simple and tweetable, right? In my case, you know, I, I work with a lot of scientists. But we're all concerned about how politics and scientists and science are all mixed up now. We have to learn how to stir apart politics and science. Okay? The other thing that resonates says if you say something important, say it twice, okay? Because that's okay, because it's important, right? So it's time to learn how to stir apart politics and science, right? In, in particle physics, you can stir things together, you can't stir them apart, right? So we have to figure out how to stir politics and science apart. The next lesson is, okay, when you're doing your presentation, you have to be kind of a little bitch, right? You gotta take all of the, you think all of the details are important, right? And you're Bo Peep, right? And they're all sheep, and they won't get away, 
right? So you got to corral those details, okay? Now, there's an opportunity cost. Every time you give a presentation, right, your audience could be somewhere else doing something more important. Right? So you have to think that your audience needs, they need to have a reason to be in the room. And you have to give them that reason, okay? Now, now although politics and science don't mix, science and art mix really well, okay? So we tried to do this thing called the light blue line. Now we're just gonna paint these little decals on the street to tell people that the ocean level isn't gonna be where it is right now unless we do something different, okay? So that's, that's a whole other presentation, but I think it's important to know. The last lesson is that your audience is like a, a baby, okay? Your audience is happiest after they've been changed, okay? And they're not gonna change themselves, okay? You have to change them. You have to change something in their mind, okay? And you have to open them up with this narrative to something new that might come their way, okay? That's the power of your narrative, is that this new thing that they hadn't anticipated, right? Suddenly they're ready for that. And their lives are a little bit different. And you've made that difference in 6.4 minutes, okay? So resonate. It's a good book. The people are kind of dicks, right? So buy it used, okay? Come back and, and present uh, at, at the talk Thank you.